have in front of us. We have Venia versus Dill, one of the most classic rivalries that Zeno has to offer. Yeah, and I think that lately Venia has been yes. doing pretty well in it, but that's to never discount Dill. He's right such a off the bat, 47, 56 percent from a nail into dash attack up smash. Really, really beautiful stuff, and just like exploiting the fact that Rob is so heavy. Oh, I like that. He delayed the last up air. Oh, is he dead? What was that? What a stock! 18 seconds on the clock, and Dill is just gone. His advantage state was just insane. Just like getting the. His, uh, his follow-ups were literally perfect. They were like showing off his immense knowledge of the matchup, his immense knowledge of the player. It was aggressive and it was genuinely beautiful. So Dill right now like starting to take it back just a little bit, putting Venia at 58%, just keeping him out. But Venia getting something started again, but Dill bringing it right back with that falling neutral air. Now, the thing I gotta say about this matchup specifically against Venia, as Dill, you have to just never get hit. Like, you get hit once and look how much damage is gonna yep. be dealt out. He's been playing the overall pretty consistently. Oh, in neutral, but one single mistake Ooh. leads to so much. That down smash is not quite was able to take it. was a beautiful tech chase, but unfortunately, well, rather fortunately for Venia, his DI was genuinely immaculate. Regardless, fantastic parry punish, going for the down tilt forward, striking up so much damage, and I love that patience from Dill. There is really no other Rob that can recover quite as good as Dill because he's just looking out. He's just like, you know what? Venya's going to counter right here. I'm going to wait for it. I'm going to be patient and then I'm going to punish accordingly. Oh, wow. Gurninja's low profile actually helping him out, avoiding some of these projectiles from Dill. He has to recover high. He actually doesn't have a lot of fuel in the tank right now and he has to... Yeah, he's thinking about that. Oh, oh. meets him out there. It's not enough to quite take the stock, but yeah, now... All right, he's still in the corner. Finally out of it, and maybe this... Now that he's in the... <gasps> and Brilliant! Yep. Still, knowing that Penny was going to accidentally down her off the stage, goes for two forward airs, actually takes the lead in the set. Ooh, really, really great lead on the tech in, and he's just like starting to capitalize just ever so slightly, and Dill's able to get those really, really critical conversions until he's able to put Venya in a ledge trap scenario. 48% oh. is definitely no joke, but the cross up on the back air, just putting him in a safe position. Not only that, he also had the gyro right where he was. Yep. It's, this is something that Dill is super mindful of. Oh, beautiful delay. He's like, I can delay my recovery, How too. I got a ledge like here. that? He just, like, zoomed way all the way across. That was that was amazing for Venia. Yeah, but I, it's so hard to play against Dill with a lead. It's just so yep. hard. And the fact that he lost that lead because of an unfortunate mis-input definitely yep. might wear down on him. But as it stands, a win is a win. That's game one for Dill. Mm -hmm. And... That also means, even if he wins this next game, Venia has to face Dill on ca his counterpick of stage for game yep. three. So winning game one, especially when you're like, going back to back with a certain player, is so important because you will always have the stage advantage for game three. And if you win game two, congrats, you won too well. Um, but regardless, game one, I feel like Venia, like, once he has the, like, you just saw Dill's momentum explode. Dill, yeah. like, didn't feel bad. Like, Dill well, completely capitalized. It's the thing is that Dill is not really a momentum-based player yep. when you see him. Venia is, so yep. maybe a little bit was taken out of, you know, the balloon. Uh, you know, which before that was just mm -hmm. spewing on high. I don't know what balloons do. But uh, the other thing is that really just losing to Dill. When Dill has a lead, it doesn't matter who you are. It is a miserable experience. Yep. The man just plays to a lead so, so fantastically. And but right now, like right off the bat, like the way Fenny is able to ledge trap, like they'll just keep him at disadvantage is definitely not something to be scoffed at at all. Oh, like, we might be running out of fuel soon. <gasps> all right. Un unable to connect the down smash, unfortunately, but very, very fortunate for Dill because he's able to reassert all of the stage control that he could possibly want. Trying to get the Great down deal into up air, but Venya, just as you said, a phenomenal mash effort. He's trying to get something started with those falling neutral layers, trying to knock Venya off off stage, but is unable to get it, and the gyro into dash attack not quite converting. Yeah, and if you're in this position as Dill, 
you kind of just want damage because you're already on borrowed time. You are probably going to lose the stock very soon. <gasps> Not if you are good at teching. Okay, but, yes, even if you're uh, good at that is so. You have to be really, really careful of something like that because if you do buff an air dodge, unfortunately, you will be stuck for quite a bit of lag, especially if you get hit by Venya's up the inbox. And Venya, ah, uh, not getting the full hit of the up smash, unfortunately, <laughs> not sending Dill up. And Dill's just taking Let me him take for a spin. For a ride. He has no legend visibility. Great punish. He on tried that to stall with the neutral B, but I was not getting get too punished. That was so cute! He shot a single little hydro pump burst at him, and he actually managed to combo with something else. Man, Venia, despite losing that game one because of an unfortunate miss input, he's looking super good right now. Ooh, I really like the fact that he opted for get-up attack, but that could have been a little bit scary, but... Oh my god, Dale laughing up. What is going no, on Dale, in this set? what the hell are you doing? Stop! <laughs> he's, uh, he's been doing a lot of that lately. Ugo is getting the gyro into dash attack, but unable to connect any of the foil tricks that he's intending to do. Oh my god. What damage. Just from those uppers. And like, this is, this is literally a complete opposite from game one, you know? I mean, game one started off pretty similar to what we're seeing now. The one thing I'll say is that Greninja being super heavy can live to really high percent. Yes. Uh, last stock, he lived to very... Well, not last stock, but the stock before <gasps> ah. that, he lived to very high. And if he can repeat that, if he can just play the long game, chipping away at Venia, and just making sure he doesn't lose, he's, it's still possible he can take the set to up. And getting a down tilt into forward, and right now you see him looking for the uh, back here, but trying to opt for just shuriken, so just to push him back a little bit, and unable to connect yeah. all of it. Wow. Ah, that was so... Good from Venia. Yep. Just waits, just waits to see what Dill is gonna do. Dude goes for that neutral getup and mm -hmm. he's not he hasn't committed to anything. He's just like standing there, just like mm -hmm. jittering back and forth. So he's just able to land an F tilt. Um, that might have been some questionable DI on Dill's part, but regardless, we that's just saw a him one zoom right to the blast on. It's so fast, it's so difficult to react so that you can even DI in time. It was spaced brilliantly, spaced so so safely. Um yeah, and because that was outside of uh, get up attack range. Yep. And, and I think Rob has a pretty good, pretty, uh, pretty big ledge attack. Mm -hmm. um, just like showing off like a lot of Venia's prowess, not, not in a matchup, but just like the ex amount of experience that he has actually fighting this kind of a character. Um, Bulgar was going into game three. If Venia can keep up this momentum, this will be very, very difficult for Dill to deal with. And they're opting for Battlefield. This is a great stage for Dill. I think this is a good stage for both players. Um, definitely, Venia can do some really crazy, you know, combos with access to platforms. So it's not necessarily, oh, this is just good for Dill. Yeah. The nature of the game changes. I think that the fact that Venia won't be able to, he'll he'll be more limited in how he can approach as long as Dill stays underneath those platforms. Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. Oh. Keep the drag down up here into up tilt into another up here. That was really, really brilliant. And these are the kinds of platform extensions that Dill is definitely looking for on battlefield. But just as easily as Dill can land something, Phew. what a landing option! That was so scary. But again, like ah, I think Dill was going for the side B there, but Venia with the get up attack, perfect. All right, Benny doesn't get hit by the up tilt. That's really big for him. And I love that recovery. Just absolutely brilliant. Making sure he didn't get hit by the Rob side B. Aware of what his opponent's kill options in that position are. But as it stands right now, he's at, he hasn't really had to deal with this yet. Or yep. at the very least, he hasn't dealt with it well yet. You know, still the one Ooh. having a lead. And on such a, like, a big body with like a relatively linear recovery, Venia can definitely get away with like down and like that because you know he's able just to get so much off of it. And even if he doesn't, it's just going to be really easy damage. The run off the platform back air actually working out. I don't often see Dill go for something like that, but the stage helping him out a lot. Ooh. And that, that sure little shark almost, almost killed. killed. But that back air is definitely going to be it. But oh, Venia dipped huge. a little too deep. Two SDs this set alone. And we saw that before when he SD'd on that second stock, he kind of couldn't make it in the end. But he's piling on the damage, he's piling on the pressure. And that is something that Venny is definitely known for. It's just how aggressive he is off stage. Just like racking up the percentage and making sure you're gonna have as difficult of a time as getting oh, back oh, as possible. Oh, oh. But stringing the down air into the back air. It looks like he might actually even that up. That, that SD might have actually been the power boost he needed. Yeah. That's, that makes me so sad.
people can still tech before the second hit of Greninja up smash. <gasps> and that is going to be the down tilt into Oilidale, but unfortunately, Miss basically just not correctly leading Bills the eye on that. And once again, I feel like he's showing up, but look at this, the up smash. Taking this now, up. I want to quickly just go into the mentality that Dill might be in. Because when you see your opponent SD like that, there are a lot of emotions that go through your mind as well. You know, oh man, I am so lucky. Oh man, that sucks. Oh man, now I pretty much have this in the bag. Oh man, now if I lose, that would look really yep. bad on me. And that's maybe that's what's going to happen here. Because Venia got a power boost from it. He's looking really nice. He realized exactly what he needed to do. Push his advantage as much as he can. And, and he's just like definitely like capitalizing on the ledge guys. It's definitely where Rob is at its weakest and where Good Ninja excels. And the fact that he's just able to like perpetuate that part of his play for as long as he is right now is genuinely stunning. Oh my lord! And he reads an air dodge, gets an up smash, even despite wow. the SD, despite how well Jill had been playing up until that point. Benia wins the set. Benny has on had his bracket. He said, I don't need the stock. I don't need the stock. I'm just gonna, you know. You're gonna, I, hey, 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 here's theory. my stock, Will. Here's my stock. Here's my stock. Take it. Theory. In an alternate universe, Vanilla didn't SD and he lost the set. He needed, he needed to lose he that. He needed the pressure. He needed to lose that stock. 